Peter Francisco was called the Hercules of the Revolution because of his extraordinary height, massive strength, and unbelievable bravery. George Washington called him his one-man army and even made the amazing claim that we would have likely lost the whole Revolutionary War without Peter Francisco. Today, five monuments stand up and down the East Coast to honor this giant of a patriot. He was enshrined on a stamp in 1976, and his home, called Locust Grove, is a registered National Historic Site in Dillwyn, Virginia. But who is this man, and where did he come from, and what did he do that made him so famous? The story of Peter Francisco draws a lot of parallels to great men that God has used throughout the, the world. Uh, you take Samson, and uh, he was a giant used by God to conquer and do unbelievable things. Peter Francisco certainly was a giant of a man, was very instrumental in helping win the freedom of this very nation. Without him, it would have been a huge challenge. Poor Peter really never knew where he was from, when he was born. Uh, it, it was just a matter of uh, mystery that shrouded his entire existence. And yet 200 years after he was born, in fact, the records were found by Dr. John Manahan. And that completed the circle of life, if you will. In the 18th century, if a child had no parents, if he were found on the docks, for example, they would try to find somebody to take care of him. We have Peter there listening to Patrick Henry as he uttered those words, give me liberty or give me death. Peter, at the ripe old age of 14 years old, is saying, I'm going to take liberty. I am going to fight in this war. I am going to be a part of the freedom of this country and my freedom as well. We believe that uh, Peter Francisco's sword is much like the sword used by uh, William Wallace in the Braveheart story. Uh, Wallace's sword is on display in Scotland. It's uh, about five and a half feet long, um, called a Claymore sword, and it would take a very large man to have, have wielded that sword in battle. The adrenal gland is actually above the kidney, and what happens is when the, when the brain recognizes trauma or danger approaching, it, it actually releases adrenaline into the bloodstream. So what seems to be, you know, superhuman is really just sort of the maximum that you can do that normally you couldn't do under normal circumstances, and it's the adrenaline that kind of unleashes that for you. William Wallace was fighting for the freedom of the Scottish people, Peter Francisco for American independence. And I think you could really say that uh, Peter Francisco, in some ways, was the William Wallace of the American Revolution. I'm Travis Bowman, author of Hercules of the Revolution and sixth generation descendant of Peter Francisco. I hope you enjoy this book just as much as I enjoyed writing it.